As a seasoned national spokesperson and brand ambassador, she has endorsed Nike, Maybelline Shades of You, Sarah Lee Corporation, Frito-Lay, International Paper, Johnson Products, Ponser, Cosmetic, and Oakley Sun Shades. She's been featured in Sports Illustrated Magazine, Runner's World Magazine, Jet Magazine, Black Hair Magazine, Upscale Magazine, USA Today, and hundreds of publications worldwide. Rochelle has appeared on NBC, CNN, Eurosports, CBS, British Broadcast Network, ABC Worldwide of Sports, WPTY, Fox, ESPN, and hundreds of local and international television radio networks. Making legendary tracks, Rochelle has been honored by the City of Memphis with an honorary street, Olympian Rochelle Stevens. Morgan State University in Baltimore, uh, Maryland, her alma mater, was announced that the out, uh, or has announced that the outdoor track will be named Rochelle Stevens Track, and a statue will be displayed in her honor. Rochelle has been inducted into six Hall of Fames. She is author, um, Travel the World by Foot. Rochelle tells the story about her drive to strive past challenges and perceptions to achieve success. Since 1990, her commitment to philanthropy and community service in the underserved communities are continuous. She has assisted and mentored over 30,000 athletes through the Rochelle Stevens Foundation and Rochelle Stevens Invitational uh, Track Meet with scholarships, recruitment, new shoes, equipment, and transportation. She believes preparation is never wasted time. She's a graduate of Morgan State University, Columbus University, and Cannon University with a doctorate degree in Christian education. To be the best in the world, it takes uh, adjustments, planning, and a desire to be more than a competitor. Since retiring from track and field, Rochelle is still making tracks with 25 years of experience as a motivational speaker and brand ambassador. So um, we are very excited and welcome to have such a special guest with us today um, to share her knowledge. motivational speaker on today. We are talking about going for the gold. Can I get you to say, I'm going for the gold. I'm going for the gold. I'm Dr. Michelle Stevens. So ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about going for the gold. So let me give you a little tips and share some things with you. You want to attract what you expect. Reflect what you desire. Become what you respect. Mirror what you admire. Surround yourself with the dreamers, the doers, the believers, and the thinkers. But most of all, surround yourself with those, with those who see the greatness within you even when you don't see it in yourself. Vision is the gift to see what others only dream about. Some people dream of success, while others <laughs> wake up and work hard at it. Dreams don't work unless you do. So take your dreams seriously. So at the age of 12, I saw the Wilma Rudolph story. And I was like, wow, she won three gold medals. She was the first African-American woman to win three gold medals in the 1960 Olympics. And I was like, I want to be like Wilma. I want to represent the USA. I want to travel the world. I want to be like Wilma Rudolph. And so that next morning, I got up, and I literally started just jogging up and down the street, and saying, I got to get my wind up, and I'm going for the gold. I started knocking on my neighbor's doors, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to the Olympics. I'm going to the Olympics. And they was like, sure, little girl. OK, you go right on ahead. You go right on to the Olympics. And so then I started challenging other children in the neighborhood, and we were 
racing each other in the street. Remember, how many of y'all used to run in the street back in the day? Just race each other in the street from light pole to light pole. And I was winning, and then I was like, let me go to the next street. And challenge folks, hey, I bet I can beat you running. I bet you can. I bet I can beat you running. And so we kept running, and my mother, she heard that I was in the street running. So she entered me into the AAU Junior Olympics when I was 12. So I can get the proper training and learn the proper technique that I needed to do since I had this dream to be an Olympic star. And from there, I was able to travel through the AAU Junior Olympics program and I earned 24 scholarships in track and field. I visited University of Tennessee, LSU, University of Florida, Nebraska, SIU, and Morgan State, because you can only go to so many schools to visit. So that's how all the other schools came into play. And Morgan State University was the smallest school out of all the schools, but they had the best recruiting coach there because he was like, if you come to Morgan State, you can be a star. If you come to Morgan State, you'll get to run on television. We raced in the Madison Square Gardens. We were we going to race in the Meadowlands. We go to the best meets. So this is where you need to be. Besides, you're just 45 minutes from the, the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. So I was caught up over all of that. And that's why I chose Morgan State University. And so from Morgan, I had that opportunity to represent our track team. I was. MVP four straight years there. I still have all the school records right now. I'm so proud because they're getting ready to erect a statue on the campus and name the track after me at Morgan State University. It's located in Baltimore, Maryland. So I'm gonna give myself a hand on that. <laughs> the United States track and field trials, the Olympic trials, it is the largest sporting event in the United States. There are thousands of Olympic hopefuls and people that have the dream of representing Team USA. The Olympic trials are held once every four years for the best athletes in their events to come and try out for Team USA. The United States has so much talent in the sport of track and field. Some events, there are four or five runners that are ranked top 10 in the world. Unfortunately, only three athletes will represent the United States in each event, with the exception of the 4x100 meter relay and the 4x400 meter relay. An additional three athletes will run as relay alternates or a member. Every day at the Olympic trials, there is an elimination process in each event in order to advance to the next round. How many of you are looking at March Madness and looking at these teams get eliminated? The Olympic trials is 10 times harder. There is no room for mistakes, false starts, cramps, tight muscles, dehydration, there's no room for excuses. This is the time to shine. This is the time to bring your A game and best performance in each elimination round. When you want to achieve a dream, you have to make adjustments. So I found out this little secret. Work while they sleep. Learn while they party. Save while they spend, and say no to drugs, parties, all the bad stuff while they say yes. Surround yourself with positive thinkers, goal setters, and dreamers. I train my body to perform according to the time of the day that I would race. Some of my races were scheduled at 9 a.m., 3 p.m., 5.30 p.m., 7.30 p.m., and at the Olympics, it was 9 p.m. Regardless of the weather, I trained in the rain, snow, cold, windy days, and extremely hot days. And if you all here in the summertime, we all know how hot Memphis can get. 
My training consisted of 2,000 sit-ups every day. Somebody asked me, what is your workout regimen? We want to do it. There you go, 2,000 sit-ups every day. I ran hills at Chevy Farms. There was a lot of weight training consisting of snatches, cleans, jerks, and pull-ups to the men that know exactly what I'm talking about. I poured parachutes, tires, we had drills, and most important, you have to have the will to drive and to push yourself. You cannot perform well in a race if you have not practiced and perfected it. It takes overtime, it takes commitment, it takes an inner drive to push yourself beyond your own dreams. To be the best in the world, it takes practice, talent, and a lot of prayer. So during the course of my career, I won four USA titles, national titles. I was ranked top 10 in the world six times at 400 meters. I was ranked top 10 in the United States for over 15 years. I have represented Team USA winning nine medals from the Pan American Games, World University Games, Goodwill Games, World Championships, and two Olympic Games. My mother was my coach. So the two of us, we made history together as the first mother-daughter team to win Olympic gold and silver medals. You must see yourself doing more. You must see yourself gaining more. And you must see yourself being more than average. Dream big, then dare to wake up and accomplish the dream that you dreamed. Know who you are. Know what you want. Know your own strengths. Know your weaknesses. Have a plan A. Have a plan B. Someone said, people never plan to fail. But if you fail to plan for life, life will make plans for you. And my mother tell us all the time, my two sisters and I, she says all the time to us, preparation is never wasted time. Preparation is never wasted time. So I would like to challenge you each person that's in this room one today to go for it. Go for it in your time management skills, people management skills, crisis management skills, educational skills, innovative skills, trailblazing skills. And whatever you want, just know that it's not too late to achieve your dreams. It is now March, so you have all of April and you have half of May to get prepared for May 25th, Rochelle Stevens Invitational Track Me. I'm a best-selling author, travel the world by foot, and on a good day, you can see me over at Patton's computer with a trunk load of books, trying to ship them off. And you can purchase one right there from the trunk. Guess what? You don't have to pay for the shipping. <laughs> I thank God for allowing me to represent Team USA to bring back home the Olympic silver medal. And to complete that dream, it took 22 years for me to win an Olympic gold medal. Who am I? I am my dream. I am Dr. Rochelle Stevens. I am a dream achiever. Now is your turn. Now is your turn to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Because your dream is awesome. Go for the gold. And I would like to thank Morton Museum for having me as your guest speaker. Brooke, Kim, and Elizabeth, thank you very much. And to everyone that came out, thank you. And may God bless your dreams.
yeah, 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 yeah. 